This may not look like it. Oh. I was gonna make a joke, but... It fixed itself. Anyway, I have emotes now. They're on the screen here. You can get them for subbing the membership. It's only $3 a month. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Haha, -ha, you don't have to if you don't want to. We're all having fun here. And also, two way as of this moment from 600. So if you stumble across this video in your feed, help a, help a, help a man out. That'd also be cool. Or don't. It's up to you. Have uh, video games. I'm using the slap shield because I want to. That's it. I just felt, I felt like it. Uh, oh my god. My. <sighs> so, update about my car. So, replace the oil filter. So, okay, so, let me wind up. I was going over to my buddy's house, since my buddy who's in Florida, who was in Florida has come down to California to hang out for a few days. Uh, and I was obviously, I went to go hang out with him and at my other buddy's house, the buddy who I bought my car from and who helps me fix it for free because he's a goat. Uh, and we watched Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Great movie, by the way. Three hours, felt like 20 minutes. It was so fun, so good. James Gunn, you've done it again. Um, and then we went and to do my oil, or fix my oil leak. Since I had told him there was an oil leak, and I was, he said, okay, we'll fix it. We checked my oil. No oil. Bone dry. Uh, and I had an oil change literally like a week and a half before. So what the theory is that the running theory was that the oil filter was bad since it was so old and the mechanic probably didn't put it back on properly when I got it changed, which, okay, that one sounds good. Went out, got some carne asada fries because we were hungry, got oil, got oil filter, replaced my oil, uh, and the oil filter, still leaking, well, oil filter first, then the oil, obviously. Still leaking, so I have to order a whole new part, and that arrives tomorrow. And hopefully it'll be fixed, because I swear to God, this car... <laughs> oh, this car's causing me, causing me more issues than I can mentally handle. I'm still so upset that they changed this. Look how ugly it is now. I feel like I might be bugged, because isn't that the power mall? <laughs> Maybe. Uh... Yeah. My audio is real loud. There we are. And it is hot. Ooh. But yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 proves that superhero fatigue isn't, uh, com like, there is a bit of superhero fatigue, but it's bad superhero movie fatigue. Like, I think what's so good about Guardians 3 is that it's setting up its own universe. Uh, or like its own storyline in a way. Where it's like, it's not like Quantumania and uh, like with Kang the Conqueror, which kind of got expedited to be replaced with Secret Wars. Which apparently was a show that's out, I didn't even know that. So there you go. Not that I'm going to watch it because they used AI for their intro and I refuse to support that. Uh... Oh, another thing on AI in a, in a bit here. Bitch, just... People don't have superhero fatigue. There's a reason why comic books are some of the most popular, like, forms of entertainment in the world. Like, same with manga. Uh, it's just bad superhero movies, and I think the answer is, in fact, James Gunn. I don't know how he does it every single time, but he does it. For the most part. And I'm excited to see James Gunn Superman. And also, the new, uh... The new Superman shows out. The the My Adventures with Superman. I gotta watch that one. Although I did see a clip where like, it's very obviously anime inspired, right? And obviously it's DC, so there's gonna be there was a scene where Superman used his super speed, and he got like blue lightning around him, which was not only obviously an anime reference, a Flash reference, but was also a red and blue Superman reference. Uh, and people were and like the corner and. Stuff like this is always fun whenever there's new DC shows, because you can see the fans who only watch the Snyderverse act like they know everything about the character. Because people are getting mad about that scene. Just because Superman had super speed and used light and had, like, blue lightning effects around him as he, like, did it. You know? Get up, Chase. Chase Bank. 
the Chase Bank who rejected me from having a bank account when I wasn't 18. Uh, or when it, because I didn't have a driver's license, even, uh, even though I had my birth certificate and social security and an ID. But, uh, because they couldn't prove I was 18, even though they let my brother get an account when he was 16. So, you know. It is what it is. Whoa, what was the thing I was going to... Oh, yeah, so... I think superhero fatigue is only slightly real, but it's with bad actors, and I think the Russo brothers are bad directors. Or not bad actors, I mean bad directors. Yeah, as I was saying, like... Guardians of the Galaxy 3 sets up a Guardians of the Galaxy story. It doesn't immediately try to throw them into the next, like, great conflict, like with the fucking... Ca like, uh... Um, Kane the Conqueror shit. Or Secret Wars. Although that, I don't know if Secret Wars will take over the whole, like, MCU. I don't even know if they're gonna do Kang the Conqueror anymore because, you know, that whole he beats women thing. Which might throw a hamper into any movie production you were attempting to make. But another thing about the AI, so the voice actor, I don't know if it was the English or the Japanese one, voice actor for Fudabu from Persona 5, there's a cover of her singing, um, of her singing some song, but it's an AI thing. Uh, I'm not going to say the song because I don't want people searching it up. Uh, I mean, if you look up Fudabu AI cover, you can probably find it if you really, like, are so desperate. Um... And the voice actor, rightfully so, is like, Hey, I don't want my voice being used like this. Can you take it down? And, like, she asked for people to, like, like report it or whatever, because for impersonation or something. And the AI bros had the audacity to say that she went on a hate campaign and, like, went on a hate campaign for her to the point she deleted Twitter. I'm like, my brother in Christ, it's not... It's her voice! She should have the say in whether or not it's used for AI. Like, if a voice actor says, oh, yeah, use my voice for AI, I don't give a shit. Like, I think, um, Bruce Willis said, yeah, use my, use AI, CGI, whatever you want to use. Uh, or, like, he said, or no, I don't think he said AI, but he said, use CGI for his likeness is fine. Uh, so, like, stuff like that, yeah, but it's absolute, a voice actor is absolutely in their right to say, hey, I don't want my voice to be used like this. And it's just like, yeah, like, yeah, look, the AI voices of Joe Biden are fine, but he, Joe Biden would have every right to have those videos of him removed, right? You know? Uh, especially in the, when you're a voice actor, when your voice is your, your voice is your moneymaker. And if they can all of a sudden start replicating it with computers, well, why should I hire a human? You know? I mean, there needs to be just straight up be like bans on AI, like restrictions on it. But unfortunately, society isn't uh, cool enough for that. Like I could argue, you could honestly argue that AI is. Uh, anti-free speech because it's like essentially putting words in your mouth you know what I'm saying although actually I don't know if that one actually no I take that back that was I don't know why I thought that was stupid there's other like I mean one courts already ruled that AI cannot be protected by copyright which is good or like AI is not like its own copyright and is in fact could be subject to copyright I assume so, I mean, I've said this once, I've said it before a million times. Voice actors, copyright your voice. Figure out a way to do it and copyright it. I'm pretty sure you can. I mean, you can copyright anything in America, right? Or you could probably copyright it in any in, like international waters, too. I don't know how international copyright works, though. I have a vague understanding of uh, 
how it works in America. Very vague. I probably wouldn't be able to explain it to you. It's just a vibe. You know what I'm saying? I know it because of a vibe. You know. But yeah, it's 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 dumb, stupid, and I hate it. Steam actually banned all a bunch of AI, or like banned AI games, because uh, some game companies or like a game company was like, hey, can we get our game published? And you know, you submit it to like Steam, and they'll be like, oh, review it, make sure it's not like cringe or whatever, uh, for whatever reason. And Steam was like, hey, this has AI in it. Uh, you're banned later, dude. Which is unfathomably based. No way back. I mean, as I said, the Emperor was right about AI. Was that guy shooting through me? Am I crazy? I hope she had to she had a quarantine her feelings of anger. That's a Mechanicus reference for uh, Faustinius. Unfa the like Faustinius, Call, and Hadron. My favorite tech tech priests. Well, I guess, well, Call and Faustinius are Magoses, right? I mean, they're all tech priests, but, like, Call and... Call's a Magos, Faustinius is a Magos. Hadron's a tech priest. I don't believe Hadron is a Magos. I doubt a Magos would be working with the Inquisitor in, like, the station she's in. Or maybe she is, I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like if she was a Magos, she, it'd say Magos Hadron. Since that's like, you know. Although it doesn't say Explicator Zola when on the comms, so. I don't know. Speed run it. Oh man, save me! Get up, cubes. Boop. Bing. Bong. Bing. Yeah, I saw, man, AI, it's so, I hate it so much. Like, I saw some, like, what I thought was really good art. I was like, oh, nice. This is like, this appeals to me very greatly. I was like, it looks kind of funky, though. And then I looked at it a bit more. Because on first glance, like, first glance with your peepers, it's like, oh, I can't tell this is AI. Which is why, like, so much of it gets, like, so popular. Um... Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Bodyguarded. Uh, and I looked at it, and I was like, man, this is AI. Day ruined. Because not only does, like, after looking at it more, AI just looks ugly. It's also a moral obligation for me to hate it with a great fury.
whacking him. It's such a meaty slap. Bing. Bong. Bing. Bing. Alright. God, also, another thing about... E I, like, I was forced to see an AI-generated image of Elon Musk kissing, like, an android with the most meat righty sense I have ever heard in my life. It was like, what if Elon... What if... It's basically like, what if Divorced Man had hot robot girlfriend? But it was like, what if Elon find, made himself the perfect wife? No one could... No human could compete with his mind. But she could, and equal in every way, because she's a machine or something. I'm like, what the hell, dude? Why, Lord on heaven above, why'd you make me read this? J-Man, smite this. It was just like, and it was like, I thought, oh, this has to be ironic. Nope, I checked the profile. Elon Meat Writer. Oh, like these people are not normal. I think Elon fans. Oh, if she fired, I would have been pissed. Elon fans should be sent off to an island in the Caribbean and just left there. No, I'm... I'm so upset. Oh. Leave my pals alone. Bitch. Bitch. Why well, am I really not hitting over anything over there? Okay, now we are. Yeah, it's just ugh. Also, AI. <sighs> So many politicians are using AI to like depict their political opponents. I'm like, it's mostly Republicans because you know, uh, and it's just like, well, some Democrats and other people do it, and it's just like, uh, this is just bad. This is misinformation. Like you're talking to like these people complain about fake news all the time, and then they just make fake shit to depict their enemies as. I'm like, you guys want honesty, right? Why are you? Why are we making fake images of fucking Joe Biden doing something? Or like, you know, or like, fake AI images of Trump being like the most like badass dude. I'm like, no, like Trump being pinned down by cops. No, let's not do this. Like, stop. This is so. Do you not see how bad this is for this country? Like, we have enough sh like bullshit about like just wrong information already. Like between shit like the Daily Wire. Like, why do we need to add to it by depicting Trump being pinned by cops? Like, like, let's, that's not an honest account of what happened. Like, we, like, I'm, this is me going after the Democrats right here, right? The Democrats say all the fucking time, they're more honest, they're the honest party. The uh, Republicans are the ones that are living in a separate reality. So why are we making AI-generated images of things that didn't happen for Donald Trump? Why is it okay when we, why is it okay to lie when it's about Trump? You know, like, was Trump arrested? Yes. Was he pinned to the ground or run? A did he run away from cops? No. Why are we generating that shit? It's so it's so pit. Like it may, it, I could I could rant on it for fucking ever. It's just so like so fucking stupid, and I hate it with a fiery passion. Ugh. Now, someone could say, oh, but what about those images of the, like, the presidents at a bar, like that, that one painting does, where he does, like, the Democrats and the Republicans at a bar. That's fine, because it's not being used for political, or, like, for the news. It's a painting. You know? Like... A political cartoon will greatly exaggerate things that the target, uh, or the target of the cartoon represents. Uh,
but it does not generate fake stuff about them. So, like, there was this one political cartoon. I cannot remember. It was, like, Donald Trump. And he's... One thing that is common in political part cartoons is that the powerful one, like, the rich, powerful guy is depicted as a fat guy, right? And Trump's not a thin guy by any means. Uh, he's not, like, like fat, but... Well, he's, he's fat, but he's not... He's not huge. The political car cartoon depicts him as large because it's symbolic of how much money he has, how he's like a rich guy, like how powerful he is. God damn it, release me, dog. Oh, I'm gonna go down for this dog, lets me up, yep. Ugh. And it, it was like, it was a race and he had like a head start in the starting line because he was so like, like powerful or populist or whatever, I can't remember, the, but like that, obviously, He's not racing, like, it's rep he is racing against political opponents, but it's not a literal race, like a foot race. But it's a cartoon representative of what's happening. How he had, like, a head start in the races because of how, like, powerful and popular he was with, uh, like, people. Oh, it's not a heady. Uh, I, although I could be misremembering the cartoon, but that was the general idea of it. Or, like, no, I think it was actually representing how far ahead he was in the polls, I'm pretty sure, at the time. It was something like that, anyway. But, like, when we generate AI-generated images of Donald Trump running from the police or getting tackled by the police, that is misinformation because it's not representing an accurate depiction of events in either parody or, uh, uh, not parody, in, I, in, what's the term? in either exaggerated terms or representative terms. Because it's not... You could, Trump was arrested, yes. And you could... And, like, before anyone says, oh, but him running from the police or getting tackled is an exaggeration of what happened. Yeah, but he didn't interact with the police beyond pe them saying, hey, Donald Trump, you're going to court. Sorry, dude. He didn't, I don't even think he got, like, officially arrested. He got, like, charged or, like, served or something. Uh... Anyway, TLDR, AI bad. Let's not use AI images to depict fake things about our political opponents because it'll serve us. But unfortunately, American politicians have the maturity of five-year-olds. Oh, uh, speaking of politicians, Shinzo Abe was assassinated by the thingama, 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 thingamabobber weapon. And at his, like, memorial service, someone brought a prop replica of it. I'm like, you have to have a certain kind of cojones to do that. Especially, like, in Japan. Who is a little less lenient on, like, stuff like that, as far as I know. Oh, and to roll back to the political cartoon thing the difference between paintings democrats and republicans at a bar versus ai images is one a human made it and human made it without the intent of making a political stance or to spread fake information well the political stance for the presidents at the bar that's maybe there is one maybe there isn't but it's it isn't made with the intent to spread misinformation like obviously donald j trump did not drink with reagan or whatever, or George Bush. And Obama did not, well, he might have drank with Joe Biden. But like, Obama did not hang out with fucking uh, JFK, right? I don't know if JFK was Democrat, was he? I think he was. I could be wrong. AI bad.
You know, I do talk a lot of shit about America. But I I feel like people think they hate America. I love America. I love this damn country. I love bald eagles. I love big ass hamburgers. I love hot dogs. I love I love American values, truth, justice, freedom, a better tomorrow. Uh it's just, I, I criticize it because I love it. I criticize it because it could be better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, I have an ideal America in my head, and it's a little less capitalistic. Like, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a socialist. Maybe on, like, a social standard, yeah. But I'd say I'm, like, fairly capitalist, but I'm not, like... But, like, there's a healthy balance between, like, socialism and capitalism that needs to be found. Like, I think everyone should have free healthcare. That's one of my biggest things. Like, free healthcare, free water, free clothing, free education. At least kids should have free clothing, right? Um, like, free food, free water. I'm not talking about free fancy food. I'm not saying someone should get a 12k steak for free. Although, I, if you eat a $12,000 steak, I'll judge you for your financial choices. Um... But, like, capitalism has its benefits. It does. To say it doesn't have any benefits would just be not truthful. Obviously, like, a lot of American innovation sprouted from capitalism. Like, the internet. The fucking, like, the internet, theme parks, movies. Like, movies are so good because capitalism, you know? Like, come on. Although, who's to say we wouldn't have that under socialism? But we, de we know we have it under capitalism so that we can confirm that. Uh... And I think one of the biggest examples of how like capitalism and American ingenuity shines is like when America's actually like when a, this country is actually united on something, it could move heaven and earth. It could bring back Pangea if we really set our mind to it. Because like I mean, look at what happened with COVID. We had like Pfizer, an American company, worked with the World Health Organization, and in a few months we made this groundbreaking vaccine in the MRA vac MR mRNA vaccines. You know, and like I'm like, wow, that's fucking dope. And America did that. America invented the internet. America got to the moon, although with the help of some some scientists that we don't talk about. You know, I love this country, but I want it to be better for everybody. Man, this topic was all over the place. Ah. I love Twitter that just auto plays videos now. Whenever I was open my f I opened my phone because I got a bing, and I Twitter opened because I'm an addict. I just started playing a video because God forbid Twitter work at all. Alrighty, well if you made this far in the video, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and join the membership if you want those fancy emotes. Or don't, I'm not your mother. Discord link is somewhere on my channel, or if you want one, just ask for one. Uh, and have a good one. Make sure to brush your teeth. Or don't, I'm not your mother.